Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Bottom of the first. Down the third baseman, Key third Brian Hayes. Baseman. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. In the air, left field. Henry going back on this one. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And the right hander deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Henry gets under it. Makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. That is third. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in the long ball threat, Darius Henry. Singing you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. And that's a double. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard enough, but to keep up in it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. Here's Austin Riley, one of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. And a pitch. In the air, right field, Frazier settles under this one, and there's one down. Here's Matt Olson. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Next pitch has popped up. Joe has a beat on it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. That is that is the designated hitter, C.J. Crone. And here is C.J. Crone. Man on second, two down. Left field. Makes the grab on the run. And that is the inning. Braves strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Darius Henry will hit next. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful go, when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals. Smoked on the ground a second. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. So they go quietly. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Darius Henry, one for two. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Gone! Grand slam! Oh, my! That's got to feel good. His latest homer in an incredible season. And now they're out in front. It's 
back here at PNC Park. Here's the left fielder, Darius Henry. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Paxton back to work. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Let it fly right here. That one is absolutely belted. And off the base of the wall. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Paxton deals. This one in the air right field. Frazier sizes this one up, and there's one down. Now the and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. A strikeout and a walk. And ball four to a board. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Now in for the Braves, C.J. Crone. And the pitch. Chopped left side. To first, Crone retired. So two on with two away. Sean Murphy digs in now. Can do it. No one better. Let's go. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hey, have a red batted up there, huh? Tapped in front of the plate. Tosses to first, and that is that. Two left for Atlanta. They lead at 5 4. And welcome back. And now here is Kyle Farmer. The tying run at the plate. In the air, left side. Henry makes the grab, one down. Up next, next the second base. One down. Matt Frazier, the next pirate to hit. A little surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. And that one ripped to left. Squeezes it. And there's two away. He's done it again, Boog. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. Close one here today and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Five Thank you.